So we continue our discussion and further explore how we construct the design after defining a separate module. This module fits into the overall structure of the construction. Defining the structure. Let's briefly look at our objectives. We have the skeleton body, essentially a block. From the main skeleton, we have extracted the block's skeleton. And now we need to decide how to construct this block and what structural content to fill it with. First, it's clear that we need a metal framework to hold everything together. So that is where construction begins. Next, within this context, we will build a cabinet from wooden panels. Finally, the structure will be assembled by adding a countertop, a front glass support frame, a decorative handle, and ensuring everything is securely fastened. All these elements must be precisely synchronized and aligned to fit together when assembled. Now, let's see how we can create this design using inventor's tools. Starting with a module extracted from the main skeleton, we begin construction. First, an additional symmetry plane is needed, which we will use in this design context. We slightly reduce its size to prevent interference. For the overall construction, specific reference elements from the main design are also required. Any existing component, including sketches, can be called up. In this case, we select a particular sketch along with a few key variables set in the main skeleton design. These variables are now integrated into the module. Building the metal framework. Moving forward, we construct the metal framework. To make the process easier, we use the woodwork for inventor feature to make the main body transparent. Switching to a side view, we select the required plane and begin sketching. We define the side profile as 100 millimeters high and 50 millimeters wide using a cold rolled profile positioned at a specific reference point. Construction relationships are established so that one edge aligns with another ensuring proper positioning with the base. Since the sketch is no longer needed, we hide it. With the profile's placement set, we proceed with extrusion. Then, we extend the body from one plane to another, generating it as a new solid. Adding the supporting legs. Next, we add legs to support the cabinet within the structure. A new sketch is created on the bottom plane, ensuring key points align. The profile width is set to 20 millimeters. The leg is extruded to the required length. This solid is then mirrored across the symmetry plane forming the skeletal framework for the metal construction. Refinement of the metal frame. Now comes the refinement of the metal framework. We designate specific volumes for the metal frame and separate them into distinct components. The required solids are selected and a new component named frame of block two is created. We specify the working directory to ensure consistency with the existing structure. The component is set as a reference type since it serves as a skeleton and an assembly is generated where we will design the frame. To construct the metal framework, we use Inventor's built-in tools. An ISO profile with a specific channel shape is needed. So we select a 100 by 50 profile, rotate it 180 degrees, and align it to the base reference point. The same process is repeated for the next profile, ensuring correct positioning. For the legs, we use a rectangular 40 by 20 by 2 profile, carefully aligning each section. This process continues, methodically wrapping the entire structure 
with the necessary profiles. With the main metal framework completed, we hide the skeleton and proceed with further detailing. Specific joints are connected, and sections are trimmed to achieve the desired design. Some parts require diagonal cuts, which are accomplished using the Trim Extend a Face tool. This allows precise trimming of components to their intended length. Final Adjustments and Parametric Modeling Now that the primary framework is complete, we add additional elements for reinforcement. Legs and structural supports for the cabinet are placed using woodwork for inventor. The legs are positioned 60 millimeters from the edge. We call up pre-made legs and place them at designated points. Aligning them precisely along the reference axis. Once all legs are placed, they are linked within the plane to maintain consistent positioning. If necessary, their placement can be dynamically adjusted. For example, shifting them to 120 millimeters from the edge will update the entire setup accordingly. Since the structure lacks pre-cut holes, we use woodwork for inventor to generate them based on the leg positions. If the component is hidden, the holes can be seen in precisely the correct locations. Additionally, if the leg position is reverted to 60 millimeters, the holes and legs automatically adjust, demonstrating the power of parametric modeling. This concludes the primary framework setup. From here, we continue with assembly and refinement.